welcome back to another vlog. So today is going to be part two of classroom setup. I actually got an email last night from one of my administrators inviting people to come in and start working on their classrooms. I do have some various trainings that I will be attending while I'm there. Um, today I need to do some defined STEM modules. So those are kind of like a at your own pace kind of deal. And then I believe tomorrow I'll be able to come in again. Then next week, um, I know that I will be able to go and do trainings from school. So I'll be able to kind of like do things in between trainings. So I'm really excited. So what I'm doing right now to prepare is I have that black um, shelf unit in my hallway still. And I have quite a few like games and stuff that are on it. Um, so I'm gonna load that into my car and then I'm not supposed to be at school until eight. It is 7.27, so I'm gonna go inside, um, get all my stuff, find something to eat for breakfast, and maybe even just go to Starbucks because I don't have any food and I don't have any coffee. So I probably should just do that. It's on the way, so, I mean, it's not on the way. It's out of the way, but it's not completely out of the way. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm gonna run inside, grab this stuff, put it in, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay guys, so I got everything in the car. Like I said, this is just that wire rack, and then I had some board games that I had purchased from my neighbor before the quarantine and all that stuff, um, thinking that I would, you know, need board games and stuff for like indoor recess, stuff like that. Um, obviously, I don't have any intention of using them anytime soon because we can't do that, but, I have them and I'm going to store them in my classroom instead of storing them at home. So, it is 7.42. I think I'm gonna try an experiment. So there's a Fry's down the street, um, the Fry's where we grocery shop. And I think I'm gonna try and go to that Starbucks. I don't know, maybe I'll grab something to eat while I'm there because um, we don't have any groceries, like I said. So my lunch consists of like an Uncrustable and Goldfish. So <laughs> eating like a child. But um, I'm gonna try that and then when I get to school, I need to meet with the secretary, get my keys, and then I'm going to meet up with my instructional coach. That's who I've been talking to back and forth. Um, and she's going to um, you know, mark that I'm there and I get to meet her because all I've really met is the principal, the vice principal, uh, the dean of students, and um, I'm driving past school right now. <laughs> and that's it. So. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Fry's, hope hope I can get Starbucks. If not, oh well. Um, maybe I'll just grab one of those like canned coffees or something. And then um, so maybe something to eat, like a like think of sushi or whatever. I do have my fridge at school, so I can throw something in there um, if I need to. But we're gonna see. I'll see you guys at school. Great news, y'all. It's 7.56 and I was able to go into Fry's, get coffee and get breakfast, and I got something for lunch. So I think this might just be my morning stuff. Um, yeah, I had to get out and go in, but I did not have to wait in a 15 minute drive through line. Okay guys, I'm here in my classroom. You wanna see the damage? Okay, so really quickly, I'm just gonna kind of figure out a game plan here because I have a lot going on. I don't know how long I'm gonna be here for, but I did just hear that I get to work from here while we're online. So that in itself makes a world of a difference. I have 28 desks and 28 stools. So those are kind of blocking the majority of the room space. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of bunch them up in the middle so that I have more room on the edges because I already know that I'm gonna have to space out these 28 desks and so I'm not going to make any space in the middle. I'm just gonna kind of go around the perimeter and make it that way. So I'll show you guys the damage. So my husband, when he moved things in here, he just kind of started piling things. There's no organization at all whatsoever. So I really don't know where anything is at this point, um, except for like obvious things I can see. There's more boxes over here, um, my bigger furniture pieces, and then of course, all of the desks. These are the bigger desks, which is gonna be really great for science once they come in because they can have a lot more space for doing things on their desks. Um, other than that, I just have no idea. So I brought this thing in. This is gonna be really helpful, a really helpful piece of storage. I'll probably honestly put it 
here and just have this whole area be storage. I really don't know yet. <laughs> um, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is get all the desks pushed together and then put all of the furniture that I have in the middle and possibly start putting boxes on desks. Like I might actually tip them over and make like makeshift tables so that I can start organizing stuff by like category. And then that will help when I'm trying to put it away. So I think that's what I'm gonna do first after I eat my breakfast. and I'm putting them on different table areas based on the type of packing they're in. So this table is all crates, that one's boxes, over there is bins. And then once I get everything kind of piled in the center because I know my desks are gonna have to be spread out, I can start kind of doing the perimeter of the room and take it one project at a time. So I'll probably set up my teacher desk first and then I'll probably, um, I honestly just wanna start putting things away. I'll do my walls completely last, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, storage is gonna be a huge issue for me because I only have the one cabinet and then this bookshelf, which will be fine for like bins and stuff, but it's gonna be interesting, like all of my science and school supplies that I have, we're gonna have to figure out how to store that. I do have this filing cabinet too that you're sitting on that has four drawers. So that is something I didn't have before. So I can probably put school supplies and stuff in this, like, you know, paper and stuff like that. Things that I'm not gonna use a ton of, but would like to have here at school. So I'm just gonna keep moving. Um, I'm almost done with what's over here on this side of the room. And then I'll move on to those boxes. Okay, friends. So I've done a lot. I'll show you what I've done. I'm almost completely emptied of one of the little spaces. I tried to focus on my teacher area first. That took me a while. I had to call Jennifer. I had to ask my friend Ashley. I had to ask my friend Mandy. And this is kind of what I've come up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the teacher desk, but I'm gonna get one of those like either black contact paper or one of those black like tablecloths that kind of goes across the top and like goes around because I like to keep everything that's mine black. Um, and so this is kind of what I've come up with. I have like a workstation here for me, um, printer, table or cutter, whatever. I'll probably put my daily bins right here. Um, and then my storage, my fridge, I'm gonna do like a coffee bar and then the desk. Um, and then this, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I might do like student rewards here. So like my Jolly Ranchers, um, and then just like other various items. I don't really know what I'm gonna do this yet, but it's the only one I kept. So I think I'll probably repaint it and then just use it for either more storage or whatever. I have to keep the teacher desk back here because the power cord or power area for the projector is here. So whether it's me or one of my other teacher teammates we will have to park our laptops back here um if you missed that if we go back to work on the 17th and we still have to practice social distancing and all that stuff which i'm sure we're going to do because this is not going to go away in a month um we will be rotating teachers so i'll be on a cart and so my room kind of has to be set up in a way for um my team teachers to come in plug in and then use my space as well so that's kind of my desk area. I figured that this area stores all of my um, bins. So I'll probably store all of these and these are the ones that are empty as of now. So I'll start filling these as I need them. 
but I will probably put these here and then obviously that will store a lot of other stuff. I did move that bookshelf under the window so that it is perfectly under the window because I'm planning on putting some of my plants up there. And then I also moved this filing cabinet over here because I'm gonna store supplies in it. So I'm gonna do paper and art supplies. Um, I'll probably put, cause I do have some things in files. I don't know if I'll get rid of them, probably, but um, I'll probably do construction paper, lined paper, white paper, and then paint and stuff here, things that I think I'll use more often. And then that one will be more like stuff that I don't use very often. So, um, book bins, I probably won't use them. Well, I might. They could fit right in the desks and they could put, you know, that could work. Um, Cause the kids will be staying put. They won't rotate, at least for now, they won't rotate. But um, yeah, that'll probably work. So it's coming along. This is gonna go up front for an upfront teacher area. Like I've said, everything that's black is for teacher only. Everything that's white is for student use. So I'm trucking along here. I'm gonna try to completely get everything decor wise, like all my de decorative stuff put back here on my desk just so that I kind of know where it is because most of my decor goes either here or it'll go over there. I think I'm gonna put my classroom library back here by the door. This will be like, I did get a lot of, rid of a lot of books, so I should only be able to fill up these bookshelves. And if I have overflow, I'll probably put novels, like literature studies over there. And then I don't know what else. Okay guys, so it is 12.15 and I have gotten so much done. I have, two more physical boxes that I need to empty and put away. This one is student supplies, which I know they won't be using, but I am gonna put it away where it goes. That one is construction paper that I need to sort through and put all the colors together, so I might actually just take that home and do that at home. And then these ones I have to put inside that cupboard, but before I can do that, I need to put some of that in bins. So I did kind of go through and organize the stuff that will go in here. So these two bins, I'm gonna put all of the stuff that's up here in. This is all science, and this is all science, and down here is like art supplies, and then this is all my math stuff that I have, which I might move into these, because some of these are empty, like almost all of them are empty. So I wanna be able to fit these two bins, and this, oh, there's another one. There's another bin. There's another one of these. I want to fit these two in this cabinet. And then, so I'm try to put all of this science stuff in these bins. And then put them inside of here. So that I don't, I don't want to have like stuff out. Like I don't want anything sitting out at all. This actually worked out perfectly for these, but I'm going to get two more black ones, three more black ones because I want them to be like uniform. You guys know I'm a stickler for uniform. Either that or get one more black one and get three green ones. I don't know yet. I think I'll probably do a green, blue, green up there because I do have a couple more sitting over there. But anyway, this is the progress. Everyth almost everything's off these desks and put somewhere. Class library is still janky and there's still I don't know what I'm gonna do with these I might go get another black bookshelf my tall black bookshelf broke and so these are all like my teacher supplies so I might go get a black bookshelf to put those on I don't know what I'm doing with this table yet I might put this up front either up front or back here for small group I don't know yet probably um, this will go up front yeah this is the progress I think it's coming along pretty well. This is my favorite. Um, this drawer is perfect for games. And this one has privacy folders in it. And then I'll, you know, obviously put something else there. But I think this is going to be where I store curriculum. 
and then literature studies and then I'm probably gonna just put like decor on this to be completely honest with you um, I need to find a place to put my borders maybe I'll put my borders in here and move those privacy folders into there or over there somewhere I don't know yet so that's what's going on we're gonna stop and eat lunch well, I'm gonna stop and eat lunch <laughs> Ashley is just on the computer <laughs> I'm gonna stop and eat lunch I'll pick you guys up later I am coming back tomorrow so there might be a part three hey guys so it is now 2 15 and Ashley and I are done <laughs> She did all her modules and I got my room stuff situated, sort of. Um, she's breaking down boxes, which I'm so grateful. Thank you! Um, and I am done for the day. So I'm gonna show you guys the status of the room at this point. This is gonna conclude part two of classroom setup. My goal for today was to get things put away and unpacked. I wanted every box out of the room emptied and things put away where they were going to be going. So, I will quickly show you where I put everything and then we will conclude this portion of the classroom setup. Please keep in mind, nothing is permanent and things are just kind of put places that I'm thinking about keeping them, but I'm not positive, so we'll just go with that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is going to stay the way it is. However, I don't know what I'm gonna do about colors. I might go and get, because I have two green bins, I might go and get one more so that I can have black, pink, blue, and green in each square, because I'm really anal like that. Um, this is proving to be very helpful with storing stuff like these bins, because over here, and I could move them, but I don't know yet, over here is going to be all my like science stuff. Um, and then I also have my borders in here borders will go there and then I need to figure out a place to store all these posters type stuff I do have another thing of posters right there that I need to figure out where I'm gonna store I could just take them home and put them in the, in the closet honestly so I might do that um, so this is all kind of put away I'm trying to figure out if anything needs to go back in the deep end of those cabinets before I put these three thingies in there these will probably not stay here I just this is kind of where I'm putting them for now this is another science kit that came with my curriculum so I'm just keeping it up here I really have nowhere else to put it I'm thinking about using this table over here putting some sort of tablecloth around it putting it back here and putting all that stuff underneath but I'm not sure yet I don't know I'm having, I have a lot of room like around the walls. I have a lot of wall space. Um, the four walls are really nice in here. There's not a lot of like hurdles I have to jump over. So that's been really helpful. Um, I decided to put these up here and these will probably stay up here and just be more storage. Um, I'll probably have my inboxes up here and you know, I can display like things up here. I don't know. Um, this is probably going to be my teaching like demonstration table so this will probably go right here up front and then that way whatever teachers coming in can roll their card up next to it and then this supply cabinet I'm thinking I'm probably gonna move this under that bulletin board because I'm gonna move that table um, so I'm gonna put this which is my community supplies which I know no one's gonna use that but I'm gonna put it over there just as another space for storage. And then up here will be very empty, which I like to have the front very empty. And then this I thought worked perfectly under this window. So I'm planning on putting plants here and then I'm gonna store some plant care stuff in here. And then, you know, try and leave some empty places just in case, you know, we get cleaning supplies and things like that we need to keep them somewhere. This is going to be uh, another storage piece so I will probably put some of those cloth bins in there. This is going to be curriculum and then I have I'm gonna put like these are all my literature studies 
and then I don't know what else I'm gonna put. I could put my classroom library in this, but I have those bookshelves over there for that, so I'll, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. We'll see. I need a place to put all of these. This is all my teacher supplies, so like markers, staples, um, stuff like that. I thought about getting another cube storage thing to put somewhere, maybe under this table, to put all of these in, because I could probably stack three of them in each cube. I don't know yet. These are just my teacher supplies that I went through, and like this one's pencils and staplers, and I do have a desk now that I can put stuff in, which is the next area. Um, desk space, I do, like I said, nothing's permanent. Um, I just kind of tried to put things away and put things in places <laughs> for now. I don't know what I'm gonna do back here. So anyway, that is the status of the room. Hello, Ashley. Hey. <laughs> You're good. Okay, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go throw away boxes and then we're out of here. I need to do my modules today. Ooh, I Okay you guys, so that is officially a wrap on day two of classroom setup. I will be back again tomorrow to hopefully get a classroom layout in order and maybe even start decorating some walls. This is gonna be the first year that I'm done with my classroom in under a week, I'm sure. I think by tomorrow I'll probably be done. Maybe like one more day after tomorrow. But I wanted to say thank you guys for being here and for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. If you are not already, make sure to subscribe and of course follow me on Instagram for more updates and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>